Emirates, the largest customer of Boeing's 777X, has just revealed a huge problem that could further delay the aircraft's long-awaited entry into service. With over 200 jets on order, this setback could have major consequences for both the airline and Boeing. What exactly is this issue, and what's next for the 777X? Let's dive in to find out. Emirates is the world's largest operator of the Boeing 777 series, with over 150 of these long-haul aircraft in service. But they've been eagerly awaiting the arrival of Boeing's new 777X, which was supposed to introduce a new era of fuel-efficient long-range flying. Emirates has committed to buying over 200 of these jets. However, the 777X has been delayed again, with Emirates CEO Tim Clark recently announcing that the aircraft won't be ready until 2026, a delay of five more years. For Emirates, this delay isn't just frustrating, it's disastrous. The 777X was supposed to replace the airline's aging fleet, including the Airbus A380, which still forms the backbone of its long-haul operations. Now, without the 777X, Emirates is forced to keep older planes in service longer than planned, costing the airline millions in maintenance and upgrades just to keep them flying. But the financial cost isn't the only problem. What's really at stake here? Emirates risks falling behind in the cutthroat aviation market, where fuel efficiency is king. These aging planes are not just expensive to maintain, they're also less efficient, meaning higher fuel costs, while rivals like Qatar Airways and Lufthansa fly newer, more efficient models like the Airbus A350 and Boeing 787. For an airline as competitive as Emirates, relying on older, less efficient planes could seriously harm their ability to compete in a rapidly evolving market. But here's where it gets even more troubling for Emirates. Competitors are pulling ahead while Emirates is stuck waiting. The Airbus A350 is becoming the go-to plane for long-haul efficiency, offering airlines significant fuel savings and emissions reductions while providing passengers with a superior travel experience. Emirates, on the other hand, is forced to keep pouring money into refurbishing its aging fleet, adding more financial strain to the airline's operations. So, what exactly is going wrong with Boeing's 777X? The answer is complicated, and Boeing is facing challenges on multiple fronts. First, there are serious technical issues. Second, the regulatory hurdles Boeing faces are higher than ever. But there's something else, a hidden issue that could prove to be the most dangerous yet. We'll get to that in just a moment. The GE9X engine, the most powerful commercial jet engine ever built, was supposed to be the 777X's crowning achievement, delivering unmatched fuel efficiency. But in testing, the GE9X engines have faced compressor stalls, durability problems, and wear issues. Each problem has required Boeing and General Electric to redesign and retest, adding significant delays to the program. Airlines like Emirates, which counted on the 777X to cut fuel costs and improve operational efficiency, are facing major risks. Without reliable engines, the 777X can't deliver on its promise of lower fuel consumption, which is especially critical as environmental regulations tighten. Another major hurdle for Boeing is the delayed certification process. After the tragic 737 MAX crashes, the Federal Aviation Administration introduced stricter safety regulations, and Boeing has struggled to meet these standards. While test flights began in 2023, the company has faced significant challenges getting FAA approval for the 777X. The FAA's new scrutiny means Boeing has had to adjust safety systems and pilot controls, further delaying the process. Until the 777X gains certification, airlines like Emirates are stuck waiting for their new planes. But what if that's not even the worst of it? Boeing's biggest issue with the 777X might not be the engines or certification, it's something far more concerning. One of the most alarming setbacks for the 777X is a failure in the engine mounting structure. During a routine post-flight inspection, Boeing discovered a serious flaw in the crucial piece that holds the engines to the aircraft, leading to the grounding of the entire 777X test fleet. This structure is essential for the plane's stability during flight, and its failure raises serious safety concerns. Engine mounts are designed to endure immense stresses, especially during high-speed travel and turbulence. A failure in this part threatens the plane's overall performance and reliability, Boeing has paused all test flights as it investigates the issue, which may require a complete redesign of the mounting structure. This setback could cause further delays, pushing the 777X's entry into service even further. For Emirates, already burdened with an aging fleet, this presents yet another costly challenge. The 777X delays are more than just a financial setback for Emirates. 
They're threatening the airline's future on multiple fronts. Each year without the new aircraft forces Emirates to invest millions in maintaining its aging fleet, a short-term solution with diminishing returns. But the bigger issue is falling behind in sustainability and efficiency. Competitors like Singapore Airlines and Etihad Airways are already flying newer, more fuel-efficient aircraft, which provide significant environmental and cost advantages. Emirates, still operating older planes, risks being seen as outdated in a market increasingly driven by eco-conscious travelers and stricter emissions regulations. If Emirates fails to adapt, it could face rising operational costs, compliance penalties, and lost market share to airlines that are embracing greener technology. More concerning, however, is the uncertainty surrounding Emirates' long-term fleet strategy. The Airbus A380 has been the backbone of Emirates' long-haul operations, but without the 777X, the airline lacks a clear successor. This leaves Emirates vulnerable as it waits for Boeing to resolve these ongoing delays. If Boeing can't deliver soon, Emirates' ability to remain a global leader in aviation could be in serious jeopardy. Boeing now faces a monumental challenge in getting the 777X program back on track. The first step is securing FAA certification, but even after that, there's another obstacle, production rates. Right now, Boeing is producing only three 777X planes per month, far too few to meet demand. But even once the 777X is certified, Boeing must drastically increase production to at least five planes per month, just to catch up with the backlog of orders. Otherwise, these delays could stretch on for years, putting Boeing's relationships with key customers like Emirates at risk. But here's the real question. Will Emirates stick with Boeing, or are they starting to look elsewhere? While Boeing struggles to fix the 777X, Airbus is winning the race. The Airbus A350 is already becoming the aircraft of choice for long-haul routes. It offers superior fuel efficiency, reduced environmental impact, and a better passenger experience. Everything airlines are looking for in a post-pandemic world. For Emirates, this raises a critical question. How long can they afford to wait? If Boeing cannot resolve the 777X's issues soon, Emirates may be forced to expand its A350 fleet or even consider other alternatives. This would be a major blow for Boeing, as Emirates has been one of its most loyal and high-profile customers. Boeing's 777X isn't just facing a few delays, it's battling a crisis that could redefine the future of long-haul aviation. Engine issues, FAA certification delays, and a fuselage flaw have pushed the 777X program years behind schedule, leaving Emirates frustrated and stranded with an aging fleet. The question now is, can Boeing fix these problems in time to deliver the 777X by 2026, or will Emirates turn to Airbus to secure its future in long-haul travel? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the future of aviation.